Good morning, happy people. Today, Miss Yari have another story. And the title of this story is How to Build a Snow Bear. The day after a big blustery blizzard, snow sculptures of a of a shapes and size appeared on Thomas Street. Thomas couldn't wait to make a snowman of his own. As soon as he got home from school, he tiptoed past the snoozing bear found a carrot and two buttons to make a nose and eyes, and rushed back outside to build the biggest and best snowman ever. Rolling a giant snowball for the legs was easy enough. The middle part took more work. Oof, puff, wee. The third part proved hardest of all. Thomas stretched and hopped, but the snowman was so tall that he couldn't quick reach high enough to put the head up top. Wobble, bobble, plop. Thomas needed a helping hand or a helping paw, so he went to wake up the bear. Bears like to hibernate on a cold winter days, so when Thomas generally rocked the bed, the bear just yawned and rolled over. Thomas noisily raised the shades to let the sun pour in. Rustle, bustle, zip. The bear opened one sleepy eye. Look outside, Thomas said. He pointed at the snowman and explained how much fun playing in the snow would be. But the bear just blinked and fell back asleep. Thomas tried other way to wake up the hibernating bear. Turns out, bear in blankets aren't very ticklish. If you sing to a sleeping bear, he will bunch up his pillow like ear moss. If you entice a sleeping bear with your favorite toy, he will cut up with it instead of getting up to play. On cold winter days, bears just like to dream. Thomas remembered the bears have a big appetite when they wake from hibernation, so he raced downstairs and made a scrumptious snack. The aroma wafted up to the bear cave. At last, the sleepy bear came sniffing and shuffling downstairs. Thump, bump, clump. Thomas waited patiently, 
while the bear jumped and shoo. You should never rush a hungry bear. Munch, crunch, yum. As soon as the bear ate the last delicious bite of the biggest, yummiest cookie, Thomas said, Now we can play. You can help me finish the snowman. He ran for the door. Bump, clump, patter. The bear hurried after him, carrying two big round cookies for the snowman's ears. Great idea, said Thomas. Together they bounded outside, they feet scrunchy on the snow. Bears are tall and good at climbing, especially when their big brother helped lift them up. The bear stretched and plunked the snowman's head on top, then added the nose and the eyes, and finally two cookies for the ears. Now, it wasn't the biggest, best snowman ever. It was the biggest, best snow bear ever. Bears are furry and warm, so they like to play outside on snowy days all bundled up. Thomas and the bear took turns sledding on the little hill behind their snow bear. Sip, slip, broom. Together, they watered through the deepest drift to make a snowman to make a snow cave too. And when the sun slipped behind a cloud and it was time to come back inside for cocoa, Thomas discovered some other things the bears like to share. A favorite book, a warm fire, and best of all, a wondrous winter day with a big brother. And that is the end.